Your letter, Mikado. We've been waiting. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> I bet you you were afraid you would be discovered as the the, the murderer you are. Listen to me. It's not jump to conclusions yet. Save that for the class trial. Well, no, don't jump to conclusions at all. Not just now. There, we can all reveal the details of Makoto's crime. So they really are convinced I did it, but... I didn't do it. Me and Siaka both know that all too well. But then, who is the killer? Also, I see that they use stars instead of quotation marks. The one who murdered Sayaka. Is it really one of us? By the way, if you don't like my voices for these guys, then luck well, luckily for you, the trial is all voice acted. So I won't be talking at all. Let's get the opinions of everyone. What? So whoever stuck what? us here even took the time to set up a goddamn courtroom, huh? Impossible. Damn, we really got to go through this class trial thing, huh? You know? If you want to confess, I guess now's the time to do it. I'm telling you, I didn't do it. Hey. There's no point in standing around here. Set up your resolve and step into the future. Got it. Relax, I haven't decided. When had you said you ought to cover it just yet? Maybe, but you're obviously leaning that way. <laughs> well, did you find anything that might actually prove your innocence? Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. In the end, I wasn't able to do any looking around or anything. Is this r really how Sayaka would want us to find out who killed her? Probably not, but we got no choice. I can't help but wonder. I can't help but wonder what I, what whoever killed Siaka is feeling right now. <laughs> well, did you find that actually anything that might actually prove? Or, oh shit, we. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> Being so so insistent. Even though you obviously c killed her, the, the very imp impressive. <laughs> well then, the time has come. Finally come. Are you ready? So it so basically has become a darkened stage. We're all here to bear witness to Mr. Nagy's final counting call. There, Tuck. I feel he's really happy about me being killed. It's like, here we go! Oh, let's wash your blood! I guess I have no choice but to get on this elevator. Let us begin. Yes, Good idea. Hey. Are you scared? No, no. Scared isn't quite right. I've said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mystery surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never get to grips with the truth. Come to grips with the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Sayaka's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me to do that. In Siaka's honor, I swear I'll find out who the real killer is. As I raised my voice to try and give myself courage, I turned, trembling with anticipation towards the elevator. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. Everyone else who was already on the elevator, everyone else was already on the elevator, when I finally stepped on. The doors closed and the elevator started to move. They kind of look cut, peed, and pasted into that. Because they got that outline. But maybe that's done for stylistic reasons. Anyway, the steel box descending with heavy clunking sounds towards the school's basement. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when uh, when his time has finally come. Oh. Rather than that, is it not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? Oblivious to our shattered anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. <laughs> you finally arrived! 
What did you think? Doesn't it just feel like a real cold room? It's like Hollywood movies have, right? Uh huh. Not even close. It's total shit. Yeah, okay, okay. Everyone, find your assigned seats and sit down. Yeah. Hurry up now. Hurry up. We did already set and found our seats. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. It was set up so that everyone could see everyone else. Which also meant it'd be easy for anyone to transfer their attention and unease onto anyone else. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. And so, the curtain on our first case opened. A deadly judgement. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defence. A deadly fate. A deadly class trial. Okay, right, let's open the handbook and look at our truth bullets. Monokuma file. The victim was Sayaka Manzuno. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Mikoto's room in the dormitory. The death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen, and her right wrist, wrist appears to have been fractured. Evidence of a struggle. There are a number of scratches and gouges on the bed and walls in Makoto's room. Replica sword. Makoto took this from the gym gateway, entryway, and put it in his room. The sword was found out of its sheath on the floor in the middle of the room. The sword handle was missing some of the gold coating. It was missing some of the gold coating. It's worst part of the bl blade. Makoto took this from the gym entryway and put this in his room. The chief was found some distance from the sword itself and it shows evidence of being scratched with a sharp object. Switching rooms. On the night before the murder, Makoto and Tsuyaka traded room some room keys. When the victim was discovered, Makoto's room key was also found in Makoto's room. Tsuyaka had originally asked Makoto to switch with her when, when someone had attempted to force their way into her room. And she became frightened. This has been placed in Makoto's toolkit. This has been placed in Makoto's room before he arrived. It remains unopened, and there is no evidence of it having been ever having of it having ever been used. All the other male students claim that they haven't used theirs either. But still, not a sing Makoto's room cleaning us. Not a single hair was found on the floor at the scene of the crime. In addition, the limp roller shows evidence of being used. Sayaka's wrist. Sayaka's wrist, right wrist had been fractured and her wrist was glittery at the jaw injuries location. In addition, her hands appeared to be completely clean, except for the index finger of her left hand, which had some blood on it. A series of numbers had been written in blood on Makoto's bathroom wall. 11037. It is assumed that Sayaka wrote these numbers while leaned up against the wall as she lay dying. Makoto's bathroom door was difficult to open due to it not quite fitting the door frame properly. The only two people who knew the trick to opening it were Makoto the room's owner and Sayaka the victim. Makoto's bathroom doorknob had been broken. The screws holding it in place had all been partially or completely removed. The nameplates on the doors to Siaka and Makoto's rooms were apparently switched at some point. The kitchen in the dining hall has a set of kitchen knives. Apparently one of the knives had gone missing. The knife from the kitchen went missing while Aya was in the dining hall. Aya swears that Makoto did not come in come to the dining hall at any point while she was there. It's apparently a trash room within the school. It's blocked off by a stud sturdy gate that can only be opened with a trash room key. The incinerator can be activated via a switch on the machine, with whom he was on cleaning duty and he claims that the last time he saw the incinerator it was off. However, when Makoto checked it after the incident, the incinerator was in fact on. The distance from the gate to the incinerator is roughly 30 feet. A piece of burnt clothing was found next to the incinerator in the trash room. It is apparently part of a shirt cuff and has a noticeable blood stain on it. Shards of glass were found next to the incinerator in the trash room. As it turns out, the glass ball would fit it comfortably in the palm of a person's hand. Apparently, Yashiro left the ball in the laundry room on accident, so anyone could have come along and taken it. 
Okay, so set skills. Do we have any? Okay, we have that one. And that's it. So we have increases damage to the opponent when the statement is destroyed, effective during bullet time. Battle costs free SP. Right, okay. Finish preparations. Trial, all rise. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, Death. I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. And the killer really is one of us, right? Of course. Okay then. Everyone, close your eyes. And whoever did it, raise your hand. By the way, I really like the style that this is. Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? What's going on with those pictures? I feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Well, I don't Friendship think they'd mind too much. Even death's barrier. Fuck it out. Oh, don't make a fuck buddy reference for God's sake. You fucking. Okay, oh, but yeah. what about that other empty seat? There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Okay, that about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started! First up is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin! It's about to begin. The debate to decide who we think the killer is. Anything I found, anything I noticed, I have to be ready to speak up about everything. Because this isn't just about me, everyone's lives are on the line. Your first non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? As things progress during each class trial, you engage in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradiction buried within their statements. But what, what this means is that you'll have to use your truth butters to refute what they say. Any relevant truth butters you've found during your investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the WASD keys to aim, then fire with the left mouse button. Pay close attention to each character's statements and use your truth butters to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. If you press the escape key coin the arguments, you can review the controls. Well done, good luck, and have fun. <laughs> Evidence of a struggle. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono! Yeah, we know that part already. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. In the bathroom. So it seems most likely that... The killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. Oh fuck, I missed. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, so you can only fire at yellow ones. Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room looked. With the way like a fucking pigsty. We can definitely assume there was a struggle. A struggle? Between who and who? Between Sayaka and the kid, of course. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? Wow. <laughs> Maybe, but that wasn't when she was killed. She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then, she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. Sorry. Okay, so what's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Wow, this is starting to sound like a real trial. It is a real trial.
that was me stopping him. We need to determine what was used to kill Serica. Well, this is easy. Get your knife set. So what was used to kill her? There was some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon. So the killer used some random knife they had on him. How could anyone do uh, something okay, like right. that? That son of a bitch! Ba 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 Hold on, I feel like I just heard is what I just heard is different from what I already know. Yeah, it's a random knife. So what was used to kill her? There was some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon. So the killer used some random knife they had. No, that's wrong. No, I do think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen special knife. knife. Huh? My favorite kitchen knife. knife. After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. No <laughs> oh, fucking. Hell. I mean, you could sort of. It was it was in a bit deep, but you could see there was something. And if huh? you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. Well, it looks like a cleaver. Of course, it fucking okay, is. So the murder weapon was a kitchen knife. But where Actually, does that get us? Kind of does. It's not really a cleaver though. I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? Oh, hello, Mr. Blamer. Are you right? the guilty? Makoto's room oh, was all the you. scene of the crime. But what proof do you need? Hold on a second. I'm. Let's draw our conclusions after we presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. Depends who killed him, Leon. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. You really believe that? She's right. There's got to be a breakthrough somewhere. Just waiting for us to find it. Because I know darn well I'm not a killer. Really? That's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to hear more? You can concentrate. Right, space keys concentrate. So slow motion. Yep. Top of that was steady or aim. Concentrating like this consumes your focus gauge, and if this gauge empties, you can't concentrate. But a focus gauge will recover over time. So let your brain take a rest. No need to rush. Well then, good luck and have fun. Bam 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 So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? Bam 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 Okay, wait. Hold on. Oh, I didn't like take it. the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Hmm. Go ahead and say it all you, you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, when the knives were gone, so you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Y yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, he definitely wasn't there. To be honest, the argument's still there of, oh, did you see anyone go in? Because you might just have missed it. The knife disappeared while Fina was in the dining hall. But I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together? And lying <laughs> to protect each other? Idiot swimmer girl? Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? 